okay good evening and welcome to handy money making class so today i'm going to be teaching you on how to um sell off your btc your cryptocurrency usdt whichever coin it is that you have so simply put to go over to play store i believe by now you should be registered on binance so go over to play store and then you look for binance you download the app and then you install it um, so ensure the app you download Binance for market requires it. Now one way you can be able to sell off is um, the moment you come on the home page here in this place click here or you click here okay um, I'll prefer let's stick for the tutorial I'll stick just um, um, the credit and debit for you to be on this side okay um so if you want to sell since we are selling i'm not buying so you click here click up here for sell but before i do sell let me speak a bit about buying so if you wanted to buy cryptocurrency on binance um what you simply need to do is you will choose the currency is it usd you want um, K um kenyan shillings mexico peso whatever this thing it is that you want you just take it take it maybe let's go with nigeria and so i fix in um maybe six thousand there i do the allow as low as one thousand there and then you choose your coin if it is bs um, btc or bus then you choose the coin you actually want and um okay you always choose that first before picking the amount so let's say ten thousand there and so 10,000 there according to them to give me 23 points. Okay, let me move this 23.92. So, if I'm using cash balance, it's going to be lower. So, the best way for you to buy is actually to use your card. So, you see, you're going to gain two dollars when you use your card. Now, um, this doesn't mean that there still won't be charges for the card. Now, okay, let me explain a bit about the cash balance. What the cash balance actually means is that you can transfer funds and keep it on i can transfer over a hundred thousand and keep it on my binance account and so whenever i want to buy any cryptocurrency i just use it instead of me bringing up my card always so um, with cash balance you can deposit with card or you can also um deposit by doing a transfer to a certain um, account number that will be shown to you and immediately to reflect in your account so um the next thing here we need to do is see so if you click on the card and you click next so your name they will put your name and all that and so you put your card details you put in your expiration date the cvv and then the next thing they will ask you will be your billing address your home address and all that and once you're done you'll be charged and you'll be taken to um, flutter wave that controls this place so you'll be charged for it if you have to use your card so um i think you'll be charged i spoke about that in the last video i think about 1.4 percent is what you'll be charged so it all depends on you you can consider it will 1.4 percent be cheaper for me or will doing a transfer which is about 250 be cheaper for me so it all depends on the amount of money you're fixing in if you're putting in a very huge amount of money 150 might actually be best for you so the choice is yours um, so the next thing we we'll need to do here now we're going to look at how to sell so up there we have sell so i'm going to click on sell and so let's say i've already bought uh, maybe bnb or busd let me use busd and i want to sell busd so i have about um, 65 busd so i want to change 65 busd to naira so um it tells me that i'm going to have about 30 000 there now this money the moment you sell the busd it's going to be in your nigerian wallet now just like i told you before that when you pay for something or you pay over a hundred thousand there and then you just want to keep it there so anytime you want to it's like kind of like a bank so it's called the ndn nigerian wallet so the nigerian wallet this money is going to reflect there now the only way you can actually be able to collect this money you click on withdraw you go to your nigerian wallet and click withdraw so 
uh, well i'll still show you that now what you need to do here now it's very simple you put in the amount of money of um crypto by now i actually believe you must have deposited your fund into binance into your wallet in binance i showed you how to do that in the video i'll still show you here again how to do that deposit so um you click on next and then they would tell you to choose a deposit method that you actually want okay let me see um okay yes because i actually don't have any busd in my account so that's basically the reason why um the next is not displayed for me so um the next thing i'm gonna show you um so i'll show you now i showing you how to do the buy sell and everything we did it from here so the next thing i'm gonna do is oh sorry let me go back to home now um down here down here in this place you see what's called wallet so if you click wallet they will take you to you'll be able to see every cryptocurrency that you have um let me explain something a bit now your spot wallet which is this one that is here the spot wallet is basically where you hold um every cryptocurrency that you send usually will enter into your spot wallet if somebody is to send money to you or from um, crypto from from any place is going to be your spot wallet actually so you should actually ensure uh, it's you so just ensure this way you actually go to get your wallet address now cross margin isolated margin all these ones are actually what you use for trading p2p is what you for trading now i can actually be able to transfer money from my um, spot wallet to cross margin to isolated margin to usdt futures i can transfer so the spot wallet is like your main bank account so um the next thing again you need to know and you can also be able to assess them all up here you can assess them here you can assess them here and you can just slide them for you to be able to see all of them so the overview just shows you how much you have in each of them so if i click on my spot wallet and i go down the first thing you need to realize is that the places where you have a money will be um the ones that will be on top and then those popular ones so as you can see ethereum and the rest so once you begin to go down you see the rest arranged in alphabetical order i know ethereum is actually upwards but let's see so um you can still see um you will be able to see all the other wallets that you want to see they are all there so you can simply scroll down to um they mix both currencies here and um, cryptocurrency normal fiat currencies so you can actually be you can actually be able to go down and look for um ngn ngn actually represents nigeria so okay it looks it's not here basically because it's up so let's see so for ngn now so let's imagine you're done selling you're done selling and you need to withdraw you can come over here and click on withdraw you can see withdraw down here down here click on withdraw now if i also wanted to deposit i'll click on the green one deposit and i'll be depositing i'll be able to deposit money so i said i'll show you once again so this method also still covers for crypto so you can see 151.5 you fix in the amount you want and they will give you the fee or whatever thing it is you want so you go for whichever one you feel is cheaper and secure and faster so you can see that six thousand there um, i'll be charged for 150 for 60,000 I'll also be charged for 150 for 600,000 I will also be charged for 150 um, you can actually see that here I'll also be charged for 150 so for 600,000 that if I was to use a card let's see what will happen okay let me see if uh, okay I was told that I cannot be able to withdraw deposit more than this amount 
so uh, so if i have to use a card the fee is going to be two thousand there so you need to realize which one is cheaper now somebody using a card uh, probably one ten thousand there might even be more cheaper for it might be cheaper for him let's see let's just see first you see someone who is depositing one thousand there using the card method will actually be better exactly it will be better for him so does it let me see for ten thousand there so for ten thousand there uh, you see it's still cheaper for whoever will be depositing with card so you actually go for whichever method is cheaper um, okay so once you're done you click continue and they will take you to the next page you have to choose how you want to do your deposit and all that so you fix your card details and you're good to go so uh now this is how to deposit okay let me show you how to withdraw so let's imagine you paid in your month you've sold your busd your bnb your btc and you want to withdraw you click on withdrawal now you will need to add the payment method the payment method is basically your bank details or whichever method you actually want to receive your money so um i want to withdraw you can see show me nigerian coins if i have another currency here yeah. and then they are going to charge me 300 naira for every single withdrawal that i do every single withdrawal i do through this method they are going to charge me 300 naira so you must have that in the back of your mind now when fixing your amount you can write um, 45,000 let's see I don't think they will allow you to deposit money and withdraw money if you put in points yeah they don't want to have anything to do with any point so please take away the points or points don't put anything as a combo so that is the only way you can actually be able to withdraw so now how do you deposit again into how do you do a deposit into your wallet now very simple you have to locate the wallet you're looking for let's say i'm looking for busd i click on busd and i click on deposit down here the green deposit and so i click on um, busd so i choose the right one the one that will be okay for me and i'm good to go so i actually have to find out the network that is best for me the network that will actually go very fine for me so um, i have erc20 bp2 and i've told you um, if it has a memo then obviously it is bp2 you have to use so you copy this address here you click on this copy address and you click on copy memo and you can paste it um, when you want to send from your trust wallet i've already shown you how to do that so once you're done um this is how to deposit you, you need this address here and you go to paste it so once you're done um the money should reflect here once it's approved so to so withdraw from here too withdraw means sending out so if i want to send BUSD to somebody else, maybe on Binance or any other exchange or any other wallet or to even trust wallet itself. I have to click on withdraw and then I write the amount of BUSD I want, maybe 52 BUSD. And they've told me what my fee will be for ERC20. You can see for ERC20 here, my fee will be 3 BUSD. So for BEP, my fee will be 0 .0 0.29. Now you need to realize that um, these various networks actually um, charge. So some of them are quite cheaper than the others. So you need to know the one you want to go for. So um, so this one is Binance Smart Chain Network and um, their fee is 0 0.057. So I think BEP2 is actually the cheapest. So you need to ensure whatever thing it is you do, just like I said to you, if you want to do, let's imagine you're using an MTN network. You have to ensure that the other person is also using an MTN network if you don't want to have any network issues. So you just have to be very careful. Okay, let me not use an MTN network. You have to ensure that um, the person you're trying to call, it's, it's in fact, 
yes if it's mtn use mtn if it's etl to etl use etl to etl network to call so just ensure everything goes on fine so if it is a memo and then you go ahead so there is also a place you can be able to scan you can actually be able to scan um someone's wallet address um and other places you can scan right here here you can also scan the memo if the qr code is shown so if there's no memo you can tick this as no memo here and place your withdrawal so the money will appear in the other person's account so um you, here you can add new addresses maybe you want to create new wallets or something with this for your you want extra you can use this to create new wallets so um that's that please if you've not yet subscribed to my channel click on the subscription button down there and get yourself subscribed so you always be able to get beautiful stuff like this i'm sure you've gained value from this tutorial so basically i've taught you how to sell up how to get your money back to your bank account and um how to make your profit so thank you very much i really appreciate your efforts just subscribe just click on the subscription button down there thanks